Okay, in this uh, example, we want to, again, take the derivative of this function here. So looking at this function, it's uh, really kind of nothing like any of the other examples that we've done. And remember, um, all we really have to work with is the power rule, the constant multiple rule, the sum rule, and the difference rule. So looking at this, um, I, it's one big fraction. I've got a function up here divided by another one here. Um, one thing right to notice is that I've got this cube root of x and like I mentioned in one of the previous videos, whenever you have that, you really just want to rewrite that as a fractional exponent um, because it's just not going to help you to take the derivative. We know that somewhere in here we're going to be using the power rule, right? And so in the power rule you bring down the power and subtract one. So we really need to write that as a fractional exponent. And so that's what we've done right here. And so again, it's still just not really in the format that we want. You might be tempted again to take the derivative of the top and divide by the derivative of the bottom, but that is absolutely incorrect. It, it just doesn't work that way. So what we want to try and do is rewrite this guy as much as possible so that we wind up with a um, the sum and difference, so addition and subtraction of power rule problems. And so, um, so you might be a little stumped as to how to do that at first, but the trick here is that in this particular problem, I only have one thing down on the bottom. And so what I can do is sort of unadd these fractions. I can kind of break it apart so that it looks like this. And so you might be a little confused, like how, how do you do that? But look, if you've got um, like denominators like you do right here, how do you add two fractions together? Well, if you have like denominators, all you do is add the numerators, which is just this over here, and you keep the same denominator. So, so in a sense, all we really did here was unadd, right, this fraction and split it into two fractions here. Okay. All right. So that's just what we had before, and so now looking at this, I can rewrite this. Um, here I'm dividing like bases, right? I've got x to the one third. Down here I have x squared, and same thing over here. Okay, so what do you do when you divide like bases, right? If you remember the rules of exponents, you subtract the exponents. And so what you're going to wind up with is the following. And I normally don't put this step in when I'm doing it myself, but just to kind of illustrate to you what's going on, right? x to the one third divided by x squared would be x to the one third minus two, because when you divide like bases, you subtract the exponents. Same thing here, I have x to the 4th divided by x squared, right, that's going to be x to the 4 minus 2. And so now I'm going to go ahead and carry out those subtractions. Um, 1 third minus 2 thirds, right, um, 2 thirds, or 2 is 6 thirds, right, and so 1 minus 6 would give you negative 5 thirds. And of course 4 minus 2 is that, so... So now, uh, looking at what we have, right, it's a lot better than what we started with. And, and notice, right, there's no calculus at all going on here. All of this is just algebra here. But look at what, we've wound, what we wound up with. We have x to some number power, right? That's just the power rule. And it's being added, right, to this function here. So I've got the sum rule that says just take the derivative of this and add the derivative of this. And again, this is just another power rule, right? And so we're good to go. We have all of the tools that we need to take the derivative of, of this guy. So it's in a lot better shape than, than what we started with. So, Okay, so let's go ahead and take the derivative. Right, This one was written in the uh, Leibniz notation. So um, or Leibniz notation. And uh, so now I just need to... Uh, uh, so that's when I'm going to put the derivative right as dy dx, just to stick with that notation here. So, um, okay. So using the power rule, right, I would bring the negative five thirds down out in front, and I would subtract uh, one from the power. And of course, this one um, done a bunch of times, right? The derivative of x squared is just two x over here. So I'm just applying the power rule to both of those. 
And let's see, negative 5 thirds minus 1 would be negative 8 thirds. And so that's the derivative here. I'm done pretty much taking the derivative. If uh, you want to simplify it, which is a good idea, right, getting rid of the negative exponents, you will be required to do that uh, at some point. So um, I could just rewrite that without the negative exponent, right, by bringing that uh, 8 thirds down here. And so, and so that's it. Um, I could get a common denominator, but at this point, uh, we're not going to worry about it. But at, at some point later, you might have to do that. So. And so that's it for this example, and uh, that's pretty much the last one for, uh, for this section.